Welcome to this episode of The More You Monitor. I'm Chris Sternberg, a product manager here at Logic Monitor. In this video, we'll be walking through the three pillars of observability. I'll cover why a data-first approach to monitoring not only your infrastructure, but also your applications and log data gives your organization more visibility into the health and performance of your systems without having to rely on additional coding and services. You might be wondering what the difference is between monitoring and observability. Monitoring can best be described as keeping tabs on the underlying systems, applications, and infrastructure your business depends on. Through monitoring, your teams can be alerted to any potential slowdowns or disruptions. Now, observability, on the other hand, is an overall approach that leads you to full visibility into and control over your business systems, hybrid infrastructure, and applications by using the data outputs coming from your logs, infrastructure, and applications. We like to say that there are three pillars to observability, logs, metrics, and traces. Logs are the historical records of your systems. They're timestamped and often come in either binary or plain text, as well as structured logs, which combine text and metadata, making them easier to query. Logs allow you to look back and see what's gone wrong within a system. Metrics can be a wide range of values, monitored over a period of time. Metrics are often key performance indicators, such as CPU capacity, memory usage, latency, or anything else that provides insights into the health and performance of your system. The changes in these metrics allow teams to gain a better understanding of the end performance of the system. Metrics provide modern businesses a measurable means by which to improve the user experience. Traces are a way to record a user's journey through your application or system. A trace records the user's interaction and requests within the system, starting from the user interface, through to the backend systems, and then back to the user once the request has been processed. Every operation performed, from clicking on a tab within your application to that tab loading in the GUI, is recorded as part of the trace. This becomes especially useful when a single request goes through multiple containerized microservices that are so common in today's complex applications. Traces help SREs and other IT ops and DevOps team members quickly identify choke points or breakdowns within the application or system. By combining these three types of telemetry from a variety of sources within a single platform like Logic Monitor, IT ops and DevOps teams are able to collaborate more effectively to create a big picture view and achieve greater visibility into the systems they are responsible for. This allows a business to reduce mean time to resolution, meet or even exceed SLAs, and work in a more collaborative way to develop, deploy, and iterate on systems and applications quicker and more efficiently than ever before. Looking for even more information on how to achieve observability and unify your IT ops and DevOps teams? Check out logicmonitor.com slash platform demo. And while you're there, make sure to check out all the other helpful content and resources. Thanks for joining me on this episode of The More You Monitor.